everybody, I'm Jedi Jack Penguin, and today is Sunday, October 13th, 2019, and I am bringing you another haul video. So, I had a haul video a couple of days back, and I said that I wasn't going to have another one until, like, later on in October, but I guess that's a lie now, which we have some stuff to show off because my LEGO store actually opened just this Friday, so, you know, I was able to get some stuff there that I normally wouldn't have been able to get without a LEGO store near me so I got some exclusive stuff some pick a brick and whatnot but before we get into that let's take a look at our first item which I got a couple of days ago from eBay for $30 we have the Walt Disney Pictures Bolt President's Edition ornament right here which you might have already seen this on my Instagram but really cool that I got this brand new sort of ish like with the box right here the box is in very nice condition and then you do get the actual ornament of Bolt himself inside here. Let's take a quick look at him. So here's a quick look at Bolt right here, which I just had to get this ornament right here. And this is not the only Bolt item within this particular video, which I think is pretty crazy that I've been getting a lot of different Bolt merchandise right here, but really cool to get this ornament. I've been watching this ornament for a while and, you know, it's just something that I really wanted to add to my collection and I'm really happy that I was able to get it. Very nice little addition to my collection of Disney stuff and I really can't wait to post some pictures of my Christmas tree this year with all the different Disney ornaments that I've been getting as of lately. So we do have two more to go through, so let's take a look at them. Taking a look at two more Disney ornaments that I got, which I did go to the Disney store, which is right next to the Lego store in my mall, which is really like convenient and also not convenient if you really don't want to be spending a lot of money. But either way, we got this very nice bolt ornament, which this is from last year, I believe. I don't know how long this has been out, but I was able to find this at the store. They don't have this online anymore, so I decided to pick it up anyways, and it was cheaper. It was only 16 99 for this particular ornament at the Disney store and then I did get another ornament for $16.99 and it was buy one get one 50% off so really happy that I got this we got bolt right here with rhino and mittens which I'm really happy that I got this and I did snip off all of these sketchbook ornament things off of the top of these two ornaments that I got but really cool and really happy to add this one to my collection just another really cool thing to add right here. And then the other ornament that I got is the Lady and the Tramp ornament right here, which this also, I believe, came out this year. Really cool to get this. Really love the detailing on this. It just looks so beautiful in my opinion, and I think that they did a wonderful job. Whoever, like, colors these ornaments right here for this particular one, I think, is a lot better colored than the bolt ornament, but, you know, it's just really cool. Really love the detail that they put into this sketchbook ornament, and yeah, that's pretty much all that I really have to say about it, just another really fine addition to my collection. These were both $16.99 a piece, and then it was buy one get one 50% off, so I practically spent a little bit less money than I would have to buy both of them at retail, so very happy that I did that. Before we get to the stuff that I got at the Lego store, let's take a quick look at two clearance items that I got. So I went to Barnes & Noble, which is conveniently also right next to the Lego store and also right next to um, the Disney store, but not directly close to them, but it is somewhat close to them. We have the Star Wars The Black Series Ray's Speeder from Jakku right here, which this is a giant, giant thing right here. Really cool that I got this. This retails for $59.99 right here, but I only got it for $13.49, and that is right after 75% off because it's on clearance, and also 10% off because of my member card for Barnes & Noble, which I think it's pretty crazy. Only $13.49 for this. I think that's just really cool. I will be opening that alongside the Sith Trooper when I eventually get to that. I don't know when I'm going to do it. I might do it sooner than later than I expected. You know, I was going to do the Sith Trooper closer to when The Rise of Skywalker came out, but I don't know when I'm going to do it. I'm just going to have to see what you guys want. If you guys want to see that sooner, tell me in the comment section below. If not, then I'll just do it later on in the year. Otherwise, I did get one other clearance item at Barnes & Noble. We have the Lego Brickheads from Marvel right here, set number 41607 Gamora with 136 pieces. Originally retails for $9.99. I got this for $2.25, which I think is a really good deal, 75% off and then 10% off because of my member card. So really cool that I got this right here. Very nice 
addition to my collection. You know, they do have a couple of the other brickheads. I should have probably tried to buy a lot more of the other brickheads that they had there because they were probably about that cheap, which is what I'd probably pay for these brickheads. But, you know, still pretty cool. Just had to add this one to my collection since I didn't have it yet. And, um, yeah, I just got to get the rest of them when I can all my spare time. So, yeah, that's pretty much all for the stuff that I got at Barnes & Noble eBay, and then we have the Disney Store. So that brings us right to the Lego Store right here, which this was probably the best experience that I've ever had at a Lego Store. I can't, like, say enough things about what happened at this store. I just think that, like, I had a wonderful time, you know. I, I, I was, like, one of, like, a couple people who were in there as soon as it opened, and, like, I just got to talk to a lot of the employees, and also, like, I just got to look at all these different things, and I got a lot of different stuff to show off so let's take a look at what I got which I will have to move these things a little bit slightly since I will be showing off some other stuff right here I'm just gonna move this stuff out of the way since I also want to bring a base plate here since I will be taking a look at the pick a brick and all that stuff that I got but starting off I did get a Lego Life magazine right here which you know this is just free they hand those out very nice just a little thing for me to look at and peruse at my own leisure you can just toss that right there continuing with our Lego Brickheads theme right here from the Lego store we have some seasonal brickheads we have set number 40353 which this is the elf reindeer and elf the triple pack right here with 281 pieces retails for $20 in the US pretty cool I found this at the Lego store they did have a lot of these and a lot of the other seasonal brickheads as well which I will have to eventually pick up the rest of the ones that I haven't gotten yet but you know I only got this one and then I did get the Halloween one which is set number 40351 which is the ghost right here 136 pieces retails for $10 this actually looks pretty cool and also the printed pieces on this one I think are very cool as well very nice to see that the Brickheads line is not dead yet and I really can't wait to see what we get in 2020 the next item that I got is from the Lego Movie 2 we have set number 853865 which this is one of the minifigure packs with the sewer babies right here. I just got this since it was at the Lego store, you know. It's just one of those things that you gotta find at the Lego store, these random minifigure packs with characters and whatnot, you know. I just got it for the sake of that. You probably will see a review on this sometime before the end of the year, however, so, you know, just watch out for that. Just another thing that I decided to add to my collection. I think that retails for $12.99 in the U.S., just another fun addition to add to my collection. Leading up to my pick a brick and my minifigures, we have a Lego Extra Poly Bag. We have set number 40368, which includes 32 pieces, retails for $3.99. This is the Christmas Accessory Poly Bag, which I will, of course, be doing this review around Christmas, like I will be doing with the Brickheads Pack, and I will be doing that around Halloween, just to have some themed reviews around the time of their releases of the holidays, so that'll be fun. And then, of course, I did get one of the series 19 minifigure packs right here which this is the dog walker one that I was missing I was actually filling these out with the employee which was pretty fun you know so I got this 399 retail for these minifigures pretty nice and I got all of that at the Lego store and now we can move right on to our pick a brick and all of that stuff so just moving some of this aside right here I'm just gonna plop a base plate in front of us and then there goes our base plate just so then I can show us some of the pieces right here I'm gonna lower us down before we take a look at the stuff that I got inside the pick a brick cup we're gonna take a look at some of the pieces that I got inside the minifigure compartment right here which this is really cool really nice that I got all of these minifigure parts really like the casing for these I think that it's pretty creative you know you could put your own characters in here and sell them you know just for yourself I think that it's just like a really cool like packaging idea like this blister pack of minifigures right here just something very interesting you're only allowed to put 15 pieces inside these that's the only downside of this so it's very hard to pick like pieces that you want to like use or anything like I did find a lot of the older like Halloween like pieces right here you know can put together some of these characters real quickly
Okay, so here are all the pieces, all 15 pieces that I got within that minifigure pack right here. I did get some Halloween-like themed pieces right here, which, you know, we have the green witch head right here, which I think is pretty cool. We have that other colored piece right here for, like, the witch hat and the hair piece, which, you know, this is the first time that I'm actually getting this particular piece, which is pretty interesting. We have sort of like a themed like Halloween like body piece and skirt piece right there, which this isn't the skirt, normal skirt piece. This is like the older type right there, just the slope piece, which is a little disappointing, but you know, still, you know, I just got it for the sake of getting it. Just something cool to add. I did get this dark gray cat piece right here, which you know, this is pretty cool. Very nice to get that. We have some various dual molded legs right here, which I got because like they're really cool and there were some other different types of dual molded legs like they had some dual molded short legs that were both white and yellow but I didn't get those since I didn't have enough like pieces and I didn't want to buy another one of these I just got some of these pieces they didn't have all of the newer newer Halloween pieces out that like a lot of people are getting right now but they had a lot, a lot of like the older Halloween pieces which I didn't really care for some of those so I did get like basically what I wanted and this is the first time that I've ever done this in like forever like I haven't done this in like I don't know how long but you know pretty cool that I got all of these different parts right here we have some dual molded blue and yellow we have some dual molded white and yellow we have some white and yellow which you know this is sort of like underwear right there with some red dots on there pretty cool really like the printing on that even on like the belt piece right there for the center I really like that and then finally we have some printed some very nice printed dual molded black and white right here which you know this looks pretty cool really like the styling of that just something really cool. Got a lot of different dual molded leg pieces since I thought that, you know, they'd be useful just for like custom minifigures or whatnot. And then we also have this jack-o'-lantern head right here, which I think this is pretty cool. Very nice to get this piece right here. This is like a helmet piece and this is also dual molded with the green on the top and then the overall orange. I found this hair piece right here. This is a very interesting hair piece. I'm just going to move to the side so then we can get a better look at it. Here's this hair piece. I didn't really know too much about it. I just thought it was a cool color and also just like a cool mold. I don't think I've ever gotten this hair piece before. So, you know, just something else to add to my particular collection. We have another torso piece, which I got this only because Unikitty was on it. And I don't own the minifigure that this particular piece came on. I don't remember. I think that this might be from the Lego Ninjago movie. I don't know exactly, but you know, printing on both the front and the back right there, pretty cool. We have this hair piece right here, which I think might look pretty cool on Sirius Black right here. I might try this out on his minifigure if I get a chance. You know, I just thought that this hair piece looked pretty cool. It's actually the Mad-Eye Moody hair piece, but inside this brown color, which I think is pretty useful for just custom minifigures in general. Got one of these longer hair pieces inside this sort of yellowish blonde color right here. I got this because I might want to like change the color of it just for like custom minifigures or whatnot, you know, since I am working on making some custom like Disney Descendants characters. And then we have some orange hair right here, which, you know, I thought that this would be interesting to see how it looked on Ginny Weasley, just something else different for her particular character, you know, this type of styling of hair. So yeah, that's pretty much all for the pieces from the minifigures that I got from the Lego store. A lot of really cool pieces in there. You know, I could have gotten more, but you know, I didn't want to spend too much since it is $10 for one of these single cases of minifigures. But otherwise, pushing that aside, we can take a look at the pieces, which, you know, I didn't really get too many, like, interesting pieces, at least in my opinion. You know, most of these are just more pieces to add to my own collection, not so much, like, mock building pieces. Of course, I did fill it all the way to the top right here, so it was, and it did have to be taped, and you can see it just is a little bit off right there with the tape, which I will have to just pull off right there. And I'm really happy to add another one of these cups to my collection since these are pretty useful. And I believe that these cost $15.99 in the US to get these larger cups right here. So I'm just gonna dump it out and we can take a look at some of the different pieces that I got. So let's take a look at that. Okay, so here are all the pieces that I got from the Bricks and Pieces wall right here. I did get two of these little spiderweb pieces right here, just since I thought that they were interesting, you know, just to top off 
my little container right there. I got two of those. I got a couple of these pieces right here, these slopish pieces in white. Really interesting to see those there. Those are pretty nice that I just got them. Just for the sake of getting them, I got some of these smaller little flower pieces. You know, I don't know why I got these, but you know, I just got them to fill up a little bit more. I also got some of these singular one by ones right here inside this lighter green right here, which, you know, these are also decorated like flowers. Pretty cool to get those. I got some of these leaf pieces right here. These are pretty cool to get. I'm just going to take a quick zoom in on this. I'm just trying to get the best best way to show this off to you guys. So here's this leaf piece. Pretty cool that they had these on the prick a brick wall right here. So, you know, I was very happy to get some of these. These are pretty useful. I probably can find a way to use those like maybe in like a Hogwarts mock or something. I did get some of these tan two by six plate pieces right here, which I don't know why I got those, but you know, they're a nice color for like Harry Potter like flooring area so like you know you could just use it for like for like a floor or something you know I did get a couple of them you know otherwise I just got them for my own collection same goes for these these are also just very amazing pieces and quite useful you know for Harry Potter mocks and whatnot I got some of these one by one bricks right here with the one stud on the side inside this tan color yet again which you know I got a lot more of these than I did of these plate pieces right here but you know still pretty cool to get some of those I got some of these weirder flower-like pieces right here inside this lighter blue color. Not a lot of them, but just a couple. I got some of these arch pieces inside this lighter yellow color. I thought that these were pretty cool and, you know, just something else to add to my collection. I got a lot of these curved um, tile pieces right here inside this lighter pinkish color right here, which pinkish red, which I don't know why I got these, but you know, they're pretty cool looking, you know, I just thought, you know, I've never seen these tiles, just like so many of them that you could just put inside a cup, you know, so like I just decided to get a handful of them just, you know, in case I ever want to use them, just something else to add to my collection. I got a couple of these blue one by two slope pieces right here with the grate, pretty cool. Have some more one by two slope pieces. This is the different type inside the green color. Just a plain green color right there. More pieces, a lot of pieces right here. I got some of these one by two plate pieces right here inside this dark red color. I don't know why I got those, you know. I guess that they'll be useful sometime in the near future, you know. And dark red does break pretty easily, so I got a couple of them. I got some of these dish pieces, the medium sized ones right here in black. Thought I'd use those somewhere, I don't know where, but pretty cool to get those. I got some 1x4 um, plate pieces also inside this sand green color. You know, I'm, I'm a huge fan of the sand green color, so I had to get a bunch of these, you know, just something else to add to my collection right there. And then, of course, we have some of these melon slice 1x1 tile pieces right here inside the same uh, pinkish color as these curves right here, which, you know, pretty cool to get these, you know, I just grabbed a handful of those just like I did with, um, these, which of course I did get, like, a huge amount of those, so now I'll have to make a separate, um, spot for them within my bins of collections and whatnot. So, yeah, that I think covers pretty much all of the pieces that I got here. I did get a lot of different pieces, you know, I did pick from, like, mostly, like, every single container that they had there. There were, like, some simple pieces, which, you know, I just didn't get them because I didn't think, like, it was necessary, but I did get, like, some stuff that I thought would be useful, and, of course, they do change pick a brick walls quite often, so, you know, this is the first time that I'll be able to go to the Lego store and actually, like, go through them, like, every single time that they have, like, new stuff, you know, it'll be worth my while, and I'll get VIP points, and I'll get, like, a whole bunch of new stuff as well, which will be fun, so... Yeah, that's pretty much all I really have to say for this particular video. A lot of really cool pieces that I can part into my collection. Some cool Disney ornaments. I'm starting to get into a sort of Disney ornament and Christmassy addiction right there, which is a little crazy, and I don't really know why, but... And I do have a lot of more LEGO stuff to add to my backlog, and a very nice clearance deal right there on the Black Series pack right there with Ray. So yeah, that's pretty much all I have to say for this particular video. Remember to like and subscribe and hit that bell icon so every time I upload a new video. So yeah, that's it for now, and I will see you next time. Bye!